T Bro in the morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg, and John Leguizamo's on the show. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, bro. Yes. I, I can't clap for this guy today. I can't. Why? You can't clap for me? Because I'm, I'm, I feel like Ebro today, man. He just, I just got finished watching a season with him. Oh, being, Bloodline. Being such a dirtbag. I, 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 he's so oh, wait, good. you finished Bloodline? Yes, and he's so good. Oh, you're at episode 10. You fin you're current. Yeah, I just finished. Ooh. Like a week ago, man. You that last episode is, is rough, man. It's rough. And his character. He's a piece of shit. Oh, he's the world's biggest piece of shit. And John nails it so well. I do it so well. We're a good piece of <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm having so much fun in that goddamn role. And and they let me do whatever I want, man. I mean, it's there's so much freedom. And we get, you get to talk about the character, how you want to create it. They give you their input. You give them back. And boom, boom. And that you create together. Is Kyle Chandler awesome? Ah, oh, dude, Kyle Chandler's fantastic, man. What Which a one's nice Kyle Chandler. Je John. Coach, John. Coach John. Taylor. Coach yeah, Taylor from Friday Night Lights. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. how everybody knows him. Yeah. He's a nice dude, man. He's just like friendly, generous, no BS, hates BS. Yeah, if you, if it, by the way, anyone out there who, because you know, it's, it's weird in the TV era we live in, I'm sure it must be interesting for you. One second you mention a show like Bloodline to someone, they go, I have no idea what that is. The next person goes, Oh my God, yeah, Bloodline's yeah, 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 my yeah, yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. So if you've never seen Bloodline, it's tremendous. But um, what are you? What are we up here talking about with you today? Infiltrator, Infiltrator, Infiltrator movie, man. another movie, man. How much you? You never stop. I mean, what's happened? Let people live, John. I, I know I look tired. I know. No, <laughs> you look. You look phenomenal. You look uh, great. Yeah. You're laughing and smiling. You're not yeah. being an asshole from Bloodline. Like you're doing no, a great you're, job. You're much no, better. No, I'm not it. an asshole in real life. I like. I just are like to sure? play them. Are you sure? No, I'm not. You do a good job at playing. Yeah, yeah, I do. Because I enjoy it. I grew up with a lot of assholes, so I know how to play them. Well, you're a true New Yorker. Yeah, yeah, if you're a New Yorker. <laughs> if you're a true New Yorker, Look you grew up Trump. a lot of Trump. Trump's an asshole. He yeah, grew up exactly. in New York. Exactly. Jeez. But he also has a nice side, because you're coming back with Ice not Age, Trump. right? Not Trump, you. Yeah, 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 I was wondering. Trump doesn't have a nice side. <laughs> you're not no, Trump. No, 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 like no, 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 but you do. You oh, yeah, do. Ice Age. Ice Age comes out on my birthday, July 22nd. <laughs> Hey, my birthday's July 23rd. Get out of here. My God. We're like, uh, you're like not me. No, you're not. You're, you're like, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a cusp. Not. And you're like, uh, you're no, I'm Leo. Cusp. I'm, no, no, I'm no, cusp. No, no, you're not cusp. I, I, I'm, I'm cusp. No, 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 no. You I'm can't both be every cusp. Day. I'm cusp also. <laughs> How can you ask Johnny Culture our birthday? Two different days. Her, where's our birthday expert? Birthday guru. We need you. <laughs> no, every sometimes I look and it, it says I'm a Cancer. Sometimes it says I'm a Leo. I'm the same thing. I'm are, right are in the middle. Are you more Cancer or more Leo? I'm definitely more Cancer. I'm Aww. kind of moody, stay at home, Very sensitive. Me yeah, hyper sensitive. Yes, yes. My mother's a Cancer. My sisters are Cancer. I deal with Cancers all okay. day. They're I'm sensitive. a Scorpio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wild, yeah, wild, yeah, yeah. wild girl, wild yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. That's not what he wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> what were you he was say? like, wow. I saw you censor yourself. <laughs> you like, caught freak. him? This fucking he freak right here. This shit is great. I wonder what she does on her spirit. That's kind of hot, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yo. You just yeah. take us through his inner monologue? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he did. He is walking us right through my mind. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, how do you do that, bro? How do you read people's minds like I that? Just, I'm amazing. a man, and you're a man. Oh, and she's hot, and I know how this works. <laughs> um, Infiltrator, what, this this plot line, what's this about? Infiltrator. Oh, okay. Um, so it's two FBI guys, Brian Cranston and myself, who infiltrate the Pablo Escobar cartel. We follow the cash. We find all these greedy banks in America mm. who are laundering, and we make the biggest American bust of banks in 1986. And it's based on real life. Total, all everything's exact, documented fact. And I hung out with the guy I played, Emir Abreu, a Boricua, Puerto Rican guy. I went to Tampa, hung out with him. And then uh, Bob Major, the guy that Brian plays, he was on the set all the time. And I go constantly tell him, how would I, how would I bust this person? How would I trick them? How would I, mm. uh, how would I, you know, take them down? You know, everything. Um. Now, I mean, obviously, you being here from New York City, you've seen a lot of. Uh corrupt police activity because we have a lot of that that goes on in yeah the city. we have yeah. good cops we yeah, have bad cops, cops you know cops. exactly yeah. but corrupt police activity so uh, it's it's well documented in our country and oh yeah and lower east side there was big in the 80s yeah a lot of police corruption back then big 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 in the, with, the, with the drug dealers and all do that. you um i mean obviously in, in growing up in that we're not saying anything bad about police here because we love there's cops that we love but yeah of course in playing this role Right. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, playing, sure I'm on the good side you're too, on the which, good was, side which is time. a change. It's a great change for for me. <laughs> but you know, I'm always on the other side. It's so good to be on the good side. Yeah, you're not fucking Benny Blanco. No, I'm not oh Benny Blanco. God. Oh, that was great. That was great. But you know, yeah. I know. But still, what a bad guy. I mean, there it's there have to be people who there have to be people who still won't let go of that. I know Italian people get mad at me because they think Carlitos Way was a documentary. So I I have to go to you. It's not a documentary. It was a movie. I didn't really kill him. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
He was playing Puerto Rican anyway. Hey, Puerto Italian. Rican. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still Pacino to all the Italian people. Hey, why'd you have to kill me? He's about to get away. You you couldn't let him go. He was His wife was pregnant. It was like, it's not a documentary. It's fiction. Hello, hello, hello. Bye-bye. I got to go catch my flight. Yeah, black black people just as bad, by the yeah, well, but, I, I, but yo, I but, mix but it if up you all but if time. you if you look back at it and you analyze it and you go, wait a minute, Carlito pushed Benny Blanco down the stairs. Uh, why did Benny was ah! trying to? Why did you yeah. do that? Karma, karma with a big. See, so you're K. still defending what Benny <laughs> yeah. Blanco? I'm did. not defending what he did. I'm just telling you the facts. <laughs> How's that defending? I'm just no, telling you, you, you. Somebody tries to to be your friend and you push him down steps. No, you were trying to be his friend. I mean, you were trying to be his friend. But you were Benny Blanco was a punk. No, why offense. was I a punk? Why was See? I a punk? Actors no, always no. defend their characters. <laughs> no, no, so funny. no, dude. If I'm a punk, I'm okay with being a punk. I, I love being a punk. But I, how was I? A so punk? you think Carlito was in the wrong for yeah. how he handled Benny? Yeah, he should have just accepted that Benny was a new up and coming drug dealer, just like he used to be. Right, and, and just showed him out. love. Yeah. Instead of being like Instead of pushing me down the stairs. When I brought champagne to his table, I I I you know, I was I was, but there was, I was an inherent smoke thing up his there ass. Where he knew someday you guys were gonna come it was gonna come to pass. It, like, it, it wouldn't it have had to come to pass. <laughs> he was failing forward, man. You're right, because the leader was failing cool. forward, yeah. He was hating. He, he allowed his he was hater hating forward. <laughs> yeah, he was hating forward. He was hating forward. <laughs> or, hating or, forward. or on the flip side, on the flip side. And he said this in the movie. When he knocked Benny down the stairs, he should have just killed him. We should let's go over every gangster movie and, and analyze <laughs> what exactly? the karma, the psychology of it all. Yeah, yo, man, I love everything that you contribute. Um, and being from New York City, and even your your cultural mix here from New York yeah. City, right? Oh, your his cultural Colombian Puerto Rican. It's what is it again? Colombian Puerto Rican. Yeah. Colombian Puerto Rican. That's but with some, there's a lot of them, man. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of, lot of Colombian Puerto Ricans everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought them. you were just. Puerto Rican? No. no, no, I'm half Colombian. And, and, isn't, Colombian. and isn't there some other stuff in there, like Lebanese and... Yeah, I mean, Latin people were all, like, mix of everything, you know. There's a lot but of you're Native mainly... American, a lot of uh, Lebanese, some Jewish, some uh, Italian. Your kids are jew -rican. My kids are jew -ricans. yeah, yeah. You've it's been a talking good mix, about that for man. a long it's a good time. Mix. mix kids are cute. They are, how old are your kids now? 15 and 16. Not so cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that going? Uh, it's going. Do you have you know. sons, daughters? Uh, one of each. Okay. You know, teenage years are the years that life prepares you to let them go. Go. You go. have to. Goodbye. <laughs> Time get, to get out. Yeah. Get out. Before, before I, I loved them too much. You know, I wanted to emotionally cripple them and keep them with me for the rest of their <laughs> lives. Now that the teenagers know, maybe I do want you to go away. Yeah, get that. So where, where do you guys live? Uh, downtown village. And so, what do you think the what is life like if, from your perspective? What do you think life seems like for the kids growing up in New York City of a very successful sort of famous dad? What does it look like from your vantage point? Uh, I don't know, man. I, 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 I think there's some a lot of pluses, a lot of minuses. I think um, you know people put an unduly pressure on them sometimes, you know, have high expectations of them, and uh, I think they have of, of themselves a little bit too much. Are either of them into acting? My daughter is. Okay. And her name? My son wants to be a rapper, but we'll see what happens. No. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Outlaw that. Don't Outlaw that. Yeah. Matter of fact, if he records a rap song, get out. You can't live here. <laughs> Don't try to hate Both him. Both my kids love hip hop. Uh, that's cool. They're from love New York City. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. They might have to move to like a five story walk up. There's still like, you know what I mean? Just to put Just them to through get it. this real. You might have we to. We live get... in a five story walk up. No. Oh, you... Yeah, I live in a brownstone. Oh, okay. And they live on the fifth floor, so. <laughs> they live on the fifth they floor. They live on the yeah. fifth floor. You own the whole thing. Room. Yeah, I own the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have AC in the window or no AC at all? AC in the window. Yo, I'm I'm not from Queens no more. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they got central air. He, puts, yeah, yeah. he paid for central air. That's where I'm going. You got you to gotta put them through it. You move them down in the lower east side, AC <laughs> unit, <laughs> one window in the living room. That's all you get. It was a hot day. Everybody sits in the living room. One TV for the that's whole it. entire family. That's it. That's it. <laughs> One iPad for everybody. everybody. Everybody's got to share the iPad. This is what we got to do now. You got to get them right now that yeah, you're about yeah, to yeah. kick them out. No, it's true. You know, what, 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 how can I do that to them, man? I mean, that's not how they... they... No, you're right. And especially your little girl. Do, do you do you deal with that where your little girl... I mean, she's a girl, so she gets different... A little bit yeah, different she did. Treatment. Yeah, of course. Of course. She's my, my age. How's your son deal with that? He's not happy about that, but you know, that's how life is. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. What are you going to do? I mean, is there, is there, a, in your family, is there definitely a father, daughter, mother, son complex, like that, uh, a special closeness? Yeah. And, and, and conversely, too, you know, like me and my son, you know, on a lot of things, we link up more than, than my wife, you know, 
sports. My wife doesn't really like, you know, contact sports and stuff like that. You're a Mets fan? Mets, Jets, and Knicks. Oh, there oh, you go. The no pain wonder. life. <laughs> the <laughs> pain, pain life. life. <laughs> yep, the real one. Yeah, That's real. A Knicks, we got Derek, you know. Yeah, Derek Rose. There you yeah. go. Nobody said Noah. We got Noah. We got Noah. Yeah. yeah. I think it'll be exciting. Oh, guys, don't, you're, the excitement here is. I, I, I'm not that excited. I mean, Everyone's yeah. cautious because of the yeah, injuries. Yeah, exactly. They're the injuries. injuries. I mean, they're a little bit past their prime. You know, just a little bit past their prime. I mean, it doesn't mean they can't do great things. They might be able to. You think they're going to the playoff? Knicks? I don't think so, man. Really? I don't, I don't know. You, he's, he, you're just wishing. You're saying the worst. So yeah, you yeah. So that I won't be so disappointed. Right. I think they'll make the playoffs. I do. Are you season ticket? But we're going to be crushed by Golden State. Golden well, yeah, State now is going to be so unstoppable. Oh, it's, it's so ridiculous. Yeah, why even play next year? Yeah, why even play? Everybody should just <laughs> throw in the towel, man. Forget it. <laughs> just go right to the finals. Yeah. All right, LeBron, I mean, Durant, Golden State, yeah. play. Oh, forget and it. Let's, Stephon, let's Durant, Thompson. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah no, they're not normal. Are you? Uh, no, it's not normal. Are you a Knicks season ticket holder? You uh, go to a lot of I don't of need games, to hold or? tickets. You know, they just... They they just give, give me seats, yeah, yeah. yeah he and they put you up on the he's thing a and they interview you at the yeah, little, yeah, 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 they're, they're, yeah, yeah. And you know, I have to do like an interview or something, and they give me, you know, courtside seats and da da da. It's got my friends. Isn't it pretty dope though? Like, not you. You're not. How do I say this? So you're like a New York guy. Like there are only some. There's. A, it's a nice little pocket of people who are considered real New Yorkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, real. Serious, yeah. And considering everyone lives here, right? Like tons of people live here. Some yeah, of the, yeah. The A-listers of all A-listers Man, live uh, here. Mark Ruffalo lives here. Jesse Eisenberg. They all live near me too. Uh, Julia Roberts, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, Ed Norton, um, everybody lives in New York. Rosie Perez. But you get a very, Rosie's in a category similar. You get a very special New York. Well, treatment. we grew up in New York. Because you're pure we New York. We went Yorkers. to school in New York. You know, I went to Bertram. You know, <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. Do you uh, like the new New York? Why, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> What's going on with you, man? I was what thinking is? about Bertram. I was like, <laughs> Bertram. Do you like the Q-tip new New York? Q-Tip went to Bertram. So yeah. did uh, Damon Wayans. Yeah. Do you like the new New York? Do you no, like I don't. No, I don't. I like old New York. I'm nostalgic for old, dirty, sleazy. Yeah. Times Square <laughs> in New York when it was funky and empty. Especially the Lower East Side, man. Oh, all these like so right across cool back in the day. Yeah, and right across the street from Cats is like they have all these like new high rises and Yeah, it's disgusting. I don't know. I don't like Isn't that isn't that crazy it's how boring. we love like crack heads and like needles on the street and like crime. crack vials in yeah, the yeah, playground? Just, be like, that was such a great time. Like oh, <laughs> bring that back. <laughs> right, exactly. We're all nostalgic for it, man. Because we're the prostitutes, man. What's going on? <laughs> <man>? <laughs> And the trannies at the meat yeah, market was because the trannies were right yeah, there. Yeah. It's over with. They fucked everything up cleaning this shit up, right? But they did. <laughs> they ruined it. They ruined the city, man. It was a really creative city, man. That's one of the, the, the some of the best actors, directors, hip hop artists. Yeah. Everything was happening. What's happening now? It's gonna be. It's called a place where rich people live. Yeah, live. yeah. yeah. It's only wealthy people like myself. Live it. There. And it sucks. It's, you guys have to go. I know. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. I actually live in Jersey. No, no, you're already Jersey out. City. You're already out. Jersey you're in Jersey. City. You're bridging the tunnel. I'm That's holding weird. on to East Harlem like this. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hold on, man. She's Please. clawing out. She's got claws. No, what? Spanish Harlem is a good place to hold you're on to. You're in the to. game, man. I'm in the game. I bought in the city. I'm staying. Oh, I, you I, bought a building? <laughs> no, I bought a co-op. You bought a car. I had a nice two bedroom. Uh, that's good. That's good. It's a start. It's a starter. Start real estate. Fuck you, John Lego. Start real estate. Yeah, you keep working. Out. Fuck you, man. We're trying, man. You're 51, man. You put in work in this game. <laughs> now I wasn't asking. Yeah, you I mean, better be somewhere by yeah, now. Exactly. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Now, were, are you are you a bit of like a um, hero or fixture in the LGBTQ world because I am. of Tawang Fu? Yes, my character Chi Chi Rodriguez became. Uh, uh, an icon for transgender teenagers, which I'm very proud of. To this day, to this day, still. Oh yeah, when I do my Absolutely. show and I tour, kids come. Some well, not kids. Uh, some older teenagers come over and they go because of Chichi Rodriguez. It gave me the confidence to come out to my wow. parents, and I was like, oh, oh, That's "Thank amazing. you, thank you so much for sharing that with me." That's dope. That's so dope. I, I feel very proud of that, man. And I mean, I did. I did, we did. We did mad research when we did Two Wong Fu Man. Wesley Snipes, myself. Uh, and and Patrick Swayze, we uh we went to all the all the clubs here in Manhattan, La Escuelita, which yeah, was famous, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and we went there and they tutored us, and it was it was great. Well, you did a good job walking in heels too. I mean, I gotta say. Well, know? we didn't really have big heels. We had really we, oh. we cheated. They were little. Oh, things. God, <laughs> the ones, God, the God, ones God. you hate, kitten heels. Oh, I hate kitten heels. Oh, if you yeah, see yeah, a woman yeah, yeah. put on a heel, you put on a six inch and get out of here. Oh, he gets so yeah, mad. well, we, we we couldn't do that because we'd be breaking our ankles. <laughs> right. So, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, the new movie Infiltrator is out this weekend, yes? Well, uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah. So the, the 13th. 13. John Leguizamo, great to meet you. Oh, great um, to meet you thanks too, Thanks for man. coming on the show. Thank you for having Shout me. Shout out to you. Great work. Keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. Give it up for John Leguizamo, yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.